Welcome to the Lotus Lounge with Reverend JJ. Still here with you. Moving forward. Plugging away. Keep on keeping on. And here we are. Right where we're supposed to be. A concept that can be quite challenging to accept and to acknowledge as truth but ultimately we are where we're supposed to be. Life has brought you to this place, to this moment. Life has brought me here as well. Here to assist and guide and provide you with some tools and some ways of coping. I haven't quite touched on specifically the event that is going on in the world around us. Um, I will be here shortly after I move past some of this discussion of kind of getting to know me so that way you know who you're listening to. Who is this chick that thinks she knows something about mental health or about healing? I speak from experience and I speak from education and knowledge. I'm like, I don't know, the poster child. (laughs) I guess there's others out there, but the poster child for trauma and abuse as it seemed to have found me in many areas of my world. And I'm still here. I'm here. The strength is real. You have it in you as well. I mentioned it in my last episode on how to take control of your mind. We'll focus more on that specifically, probably an entire episode, maybe even a series on how to gain control. But I don't think people are quite realizing the amount of programming that is occurring messages that we're receiving, programming through the tell-lie vision, conditioning that's happening, and we're literally living it right now. We're all being conditioned to live in fear. So rather than living there, I implore you to stay in hope and to stay in love. And to remember that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Philosophy of yoga. My background too. And what I would even kind of quantify as being what I live by. The philosophy of yoga. Causing no harm, doing no harm. Buddhist mentality. Yoga philosophy. Bend be flexible, go with the flow, be in the moment, breathe. I was talking about the foundation and the ultimate foundation is being able to maintain your own stability. Even when all the chaos is going on around you, are you still able to maintain your own stable foundation? very key right now in not getting swayed or um, I don't know moved into a different direction so that way you're staying in a low vibration low vibration frequencies guilt, shame, anger fear worry high vibration frequencies here we're talking about enlightenment, bliss happiness, contentment joy it takes a lot of work to stay in a high vibe earlier today I had a bit of an incident uh, got a little aggravated 
I have my, my own ideas and philosophies on why that's happening. And again, I'm going to touch on this, but right now it's still kind of in this whole like get to know you phase. So you're learning about who I am and why I might be qualified to be able to speak on such topics. So my yoga background, I figured I would touch on this episode. Um, Back in 2009 or 2008, um, I did a 200-hour training nine weekends during the spring of, I believe it was 2009. Um, So we're talking a good amount of time. I did a 200 hour training, gained a lot of insight, uh, learned a lot about myself, uh, did a lot of processing and work in regards to some of the programming and trauma that had been imprinted and instilled in me. Um, as all of us and I successfully completed that program and I am officially certified as a yoga teacher Uh, it is part of JJ Lotus Therapy Lounge LLC so it is part of my organization Uh, I am offering yoga classes through Zoom Uh, you can book through my website Um, so go ahead and check that out if you'd like jjlotustherapy.com So my background is specific in what is called uh, a modality of BEAM, B-E-A-M, BEAM, breath, energy, alignment, and movement. And that was the focus, and it's a specialized training, uh, and that's primarily with adults. Uh, It is something that I can do for teenagers, um, adolescents, Uh, but it is mainly a focus for the adult population. And uh, we're really looking at proper alignment and feeling the energy, uh, micro movements, um, little movements that you can make in your life. And these will be things that we're going to talk some more about too, even in regards to like sitting up straight. People don't quite realize that when you're feeling guilty, or feeling ashamed, your body language will also indicate that. So your shoulders might be kind of slumped over, or you might be just kind of like fallen forward and not sitting up straight. You know, your back is kind of curved. But just by doing a small micro movement of just gently straightening up the back, you'll notice a shift in your mood. This can happen, but you gotta use the tool. So standing up straight, proper posture, um, you know, yoga teaches all about that, core strength, you know, what you do on the mat, we also try to incorporate and practice in our day-to-day life. So if you're super flexible on the mat, then we need to be flexible in life. Go with the flow. If you are able to do headstands and crow pose and you've got some amazing core strength, then tap into that strength that you have within to keep going and to continue on. 